Welcome to Cooking with Carolina Packers, a show all about showing and sharing your favorite Bright Leaf recipes. Today, Grill Master Ricky, aka Morta Grill, is cooking a smoking hot biscuit, which has these Bright Leaf Red Hots, homemade pimento cheese, a special recipe he created, Bright Leaf bacon, a biscuit, and honey. It's going to be delicious. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever had Bright Leaf Red Hots. They're very unique in Eastern North Carolina tradition. But they're small, fat, Bright Leaf hot dogs, spicy kick, crushed red pepper, perfect size for a biscuit, and breakfast. A lot of people eat this with fried eggs. And so Ricky created this amazing biscuit that looked great on camera. And so I'm excited to bring him on here so he can teach us how to make his recipe. So let me bring Ricky on here. Hold on one second, guys. So how'd you come up with this recipe? It's very, you know, I'm used to seeing Red Hots with pimento cheese yep. and a biscuit, but you took it to the next level with honey and bacon. Like, how did you come up with this? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so what we were trying to do is trying to, provide a little bit of extra complexity to the a traditional red hot recipe with just the pimento cheese so the bacon gave a little bit of crunch and then the honey gave a little bit of sweetness to kind of counteract and give another layer to the spiciness from the you know the crushed red pepper in that and the red hot um so kind of all of those things gave you you know the sweet the savory um and then the spiciness from the red hot uh and then also the crunch from the you know, the fried bacon. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, so can you describe to people what exactly pimento cheese is? Cause if they're not from the South, you know, <laughs> I don't know where they're tuning in from. They probably don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah. So, so the pimento cheese recipe that, that I do has, um, you know, extra sharp cheddar cheese, um, sharp cheddar cheese, pimentos, um, Duke's mayo, Mount Olive um, bread and butter, um, some slap your mama for a little kick. And then, um, you know, traditionally you put some, some type of Tabasco sauce in it. I, I use the Dirty South Skull Sauce because it's got a vinegar-based sauce, um, hot sauce in there. Uh, so that works really well. You could do Texas Pete. You could do, you know, any types of like a Frank's or a, a Louisiana hot sauce too. Uh, and that kind of gives it that extra kick. And then all those things kind of combine together. Um, you get that cheese with the pimento. Uh, it's kind of a creamy, um, you know, flavor. It's kind of, it's not really like anything else. Uh, it, it's kind of a tang with a cheese and a creaminess. Um, I don't really know what else you could kind of, you know, relate it to. There's not really anything else that, that I can think of. It's totally different than anything else, you know, kind of out there. The, yeah, pimento, the pimentos are, are so different than anything else I could think of. And then yep. and I, I smoke the pimentos, so you get that little bit of smoky flavor, you know, in the recipe. That's kind of the, the thing I do a little bit different with my pimento cheese recipe. Yeah, it's hard to describe it. You just got to eat it. Yep. So, uh, so why don't you show us what you got cooking? All right, so I got the Red Hots are already on the grill. Um, they've plumped up nice and um, thick, so you can kind of see what we got going on there. They're ready to go on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them down the middle and then drop them on the um, griddle pan on my ra a ranger just to give them a little bit of crunch. Uh, that'll fry them up just a little bit. Um, and then once they're sliced in half, that's how we'll kind of put them down on the biscuit. So I'm going to do that real fast. Um, just kind of take it and slice right down the middle of the red hot. Hey, Ricky, I'm not trying to distract you as you're cutting, but yep. why are you slicing them in half? What's the point of doing that? So when you put it on the biscuit, when you, it'll give you a nice flat edge to lay it flat on the biscuit to keep it from rolling around. Plus, when I throw it on the Ranger, it'll kind of give you that nice crispiness on the bottom edge of the Red Hot. So it's going to basically fry it just like if you were frying, you know, a piece of smoked sausage or anything like that uh, in a frying pan. So it's going to okay. kind of go with that same effect. So it kind of serves two purposes. So for right now, I'm just going to take two of my pieces and put them on the grill and leave the other, you know, two red hots there. So I'm just going to take them over and drop them right on my, my grill pan. I've already got it hot and it's ready to roll. It's just going to take probably about, you know, 30 seconds. And that's just going to fry it up 
and give it a little bit of a crispiness right there. Um, and just kind of char those edges um, on the inside of the Red Hot also. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and slice the biscuit uh, and get that ready real fast. Just slice that right down the middle. Yep. Are there any other biscuit brands you recommend using? Like, do you have a favorite? I mean, do I have a favorite? Yeah, we use Pillsbury a lot. Uh, I mean, okay. what, whatever you use, whatever your favorite is, you can make your own. Um, you know, there's whatever your preference is. This is a pretty simple recipe um, to do, so it doesn't take long. You know, grilling up your, your Red Hots is just like doing a hot dog. So, you know, whatever temperature you cook your – um your hot dogs at is how fast they're going to cook up um it's the same for your red hot so the recipe is pretty darn quick to do so it's not like one of those recipes where you really need a homemade biscuit for but you absolutely could do that if you're you know you're one of those uh people that want a, a you know a homemade biscuit you don't want to do a canned biscuit type of thing you could absolutely do that so the other thing i do is i'm going to drizzle some honey there uh, right there on my plate and what that will do is just kind of give you a little bit of honey right on the bottom of the biscuit when you go to eat that. Um, it just gives you a little bit of extra flavor. And I'm also going to drizzle some more honey on the inside. And then you can see just a nice, crispy, small, not a lot, but just a little bit right there on the inside of the Red Hot. Place it down on my biscuit. Then I'm going to take my pimento cheese. And you can see in there, you can see the bread and butter pickles in there. You can see the pimentos in there, the cheese. Like I said, we put Slap Your Mama in there. It gives it a little bit of a kick. Um, Duke's Mayo. If you're using mayo, you got to use Duke's, right? There's no other such thing. Um, but we put that on there. So, so I know your pimento cheese is homemade. Yep. Um, is there anything you can share with us? Like, how did you come up with that combination? So um, it started from – there's a restaurant in Charleston called Husk. I don't know if you've ever been there. They also have one in Savannah and Nashville also. So the chef there, his name's Sean Brock, I think, and he shared his recipe in Garden and Gun you know, a couple years ago. And that's kind of where the base recipe comes from. It comes from that, and then I just tweaked the recipe, um, you know, a couple places. I use Mount Olive Bread and Butter. He uses Ramps. Um, I use Slacker Mama instead of things like white pepper and and paprika and cayenne, just I like the flavor profile that Slacker Mama provides and that little mm -hmm. bit of extra kick. Um, he used uh, just a traditional Tabasco sauce. I used the um, Dirty South, et cetera. So I just kind of tweaked that original recipe quite a bit. And then I smoked, um, you know, my pimentos, uh, you know, also uh, in addition to that. So that's kind of uh, where it kind of comes from. And then just I like to take other people's recipes and, and make them my own. Okay. So now I'm just going to take some bright leaf bacon that I um, pre-fried up, uh, baked it in the oven for about 30 minutes, nice and crispy. Um, oh, yeah. Put it, put about three or four pieces on there. Then I'm going to take a little bit more honey, drizzle it right over, and then top bun right on top, and it's ready to rock and roll. And then you can kind of see mento cheese coming out the side, the red hot, the bacon, a little bit of honey on the bottom. Nice, sweet, savory combo. And it's time for a bite, right? Yep, absolutely. I'm a little jealous right now. That was so good. Oh, God. So how would you how would you describe that flavor profile right now? Because you got the Red Hots, which are pork and beef. You got the bacon, which is pork. You got pimento cheese. You got honey. You got a biscuit. So what is that like? <laughs> so it gives you it kind of gives you a little bit of everything, right? You get a little bit of spice from the crushed red pepper. You get um, some sweetness from the honey. The, you get some smokiness from the um, pimento cheese. And then you get that crunch from the bacon. All that kind of works so well together. Like it was one of those things, like when we were talking about it, I was like, I don't know how that's going to work. And then that first bite of it, you're like, holy cow, that works really, really well together. It, it, it's just kind of one of those crazy combinations that work really, really well. Yeah, that looks amazing. Oh, it's so, so good. How, how long did it take you to get that good at drizzling honey? Because those are some perfect lines right there. <laughs> it's funny because Stacy was like, I don't know if you need to drizzle that honey. I should do that ahead of time because I'm scared you're going to make a mess. 
Uh, you know, it's <laughs> it's just one of those things that you just kind of do. Like for work, I do uh, you know some food pictures sometimes for uh, training materials and stuff. So just kind of one of those things you just do it. Uh, honey's weird. This particular bottle works pretty well for stuff like that, but uh, it just came out pretty well. It it it, it worked. It was on my uh, luck was on my side today, I guess. We did a good job of that. It looked really good. Thank you. Try to see if we have any questions. Lots of compliments. All right. Everybody's Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's good stuff. And then, of course, we use the you know the bright leaf bacon. You gotta you gotta use that, right? That's Absolutely. Good. Yeah, it's sugar free too. Gives you another reason to eat bacon. Not that you need it. <laughs> Not that you need any reason to eat bacon, right? Yeah. So, hey, guys, just a reminder, you can ask questions, and we will answer them on here. So for just sure. please let us know if you have questions for Ricky or for me. I am happy to answer them for you. Anything you want to ask about what he cooked? Oh, here we go. We got a, a question from Brooke. Okay. Hey, Brooke. If you could cook a meal for anybody, what would it be, and who would you cook it for? Oh, if I could cook a meal for anybody – what would it be and who would I cook for? <laughs> Stacy's raising her hand right now and saying her. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a, that's an interesting question. Uh, yeah. I mean, it would definitely probably be, you know, a Eastern North Carolina type of meal. Um, so people get to experience something that they don't normally, um, you know, get right. So like when I made those nachos a couple of weeks ago, I did that so people get to experience the part of, of me that people don't see, right? Because you always, when you hear about barbecue, you hear you hear about Texas, you hear about Kansas City, you hear about Memphis, right? And unless you're from Eastern North Carolina or you're from North Carolina, you don't really hear about Eastern North Carolina enough um, on yep. the barbecue scene. So that was kind of why in that barbecue contest I went that route. So I think it would it would have to be Eastern North Carolina style barbecue, um, and now who would it be? Um, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I think it probably have to be, uh, friends and family because, um, uh, we I enjoy cooking for them so much and letting them experience, um, you know, the food that I cook. Okay. Jay Bucks said, good morning. What's up, Jay? How you doing, bud? Then let's see here. He was cooking some crawfish yesterday that looked amazing. Oh, nice. So, so you're a, you're a grill master, you know, you, you're, <laughs> you're a chef, whatever, whatever term you want to give yourself. You know, you create all these creative recipes. Are there any chefs or grill masters that you get your inspiration from or that you, you follow the most that you can recommend some of the people watching to follow? Oh man, there's so many of them out there. Um, top five. <laughs> top five. Um, so top five, top five. So I would say, if you're talking strictly um, barbecue, I'd probably go. Whew. So all right. So from plating and presentation, I would say Chef Fingers Barbecue. Because he just every every time he plates something, it's phenomenal. It doesn't matter what it is. Like he did a, a sa chaff, uh, saffron saffron um, risotto with sea scallops, and it just looked, like even if you don't like risotto, it looked phenomenal, right? So everything he plates just looks top notch. Um, and then I'd say Wiser with Wayne, um, his his just everything he does from the wild game, everything is phenomenal. Um, God, this is a hard one because there's so many people. Um, top three. Um, and then if you're talking, you know, if you're, if you're just talking barbecue, oh man, um, it, I, somebody's gonna get mad because I don't mention them. Um, but I'd say, um, just I, I like watching him is girl dad grills because he's so energetic so much fun on camera um you know like it doesn't 
I mean, like, you, you have a good day just watching him interact uh, on the camera. So uh, those would be three that, like, just total different styles, total different things, but uh, they're a lot of fun to watch. Okay. All right, yeah, and we will put these um, grill masters slash barbecues, whatever term you want to give them, in the comments so you guys can check them out. Um, Brooke asked, what kind of pellets do you use when smoking pimentos? Oh, so I use the same um, pellets all the time, no matter what, uh, what I'm cooking. Because I use a blend. I use the Jealous Devil Jack's pellets, and they're a blend of cherry, maple, and hickory. And that works for basically anything I cook. Um, that, that's just a nice blend. It's not harsh. It's not over overly smoky. Um, so I've used it from everything from fish and shrimp to to desserts to you know hot dogs to to really everything. Uh, and even did pizzas on the on the uni the other night with it. So I use that for everything because it's so versatile with that blend uh, and doesn't overpower anything. Okay. And I'm kind of lazy with the pellets. I don't like switching them out all the time. I don't like having 14 different kinds. I know some people like to have a bunch of different kinds. I just, I've found it so much easier just to stick with one and, and stay with that all the time. Okay. Jay Hoff Barbecue wants you to make a pizza with Carolina Packer products. I, I'm, I'm working on that. I've got to figure out what it's going to be. Uh, but that is definitely in the in the process. <laughs> I've got to really get the, I really got to get the uni dialed in before I'm ready to jump off that bridge yet. I'm not quite there. <laughs> we can try it live if you want. You know, it'd be it'd be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any more questions for Ricky? Everyone just keeps saying, hey, good job. Looks phenomenal. Looks great. So, Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, man. You know Thanks what you're doing. for joining man. us. That looks so good. Yep. It is so good. I think I'm going to take another bite. I'm not going to let it go to waste. Well, Ricky, after you're done chewing, is there anything else you want to – say to your audience or any questions you want to ask them before we hop off? No, I just want to say um, thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Ricky, thanks for joining us. You know, like he said, we hope everyone has a great, safe, fun weekend, able to get out and grill. Um, it's raining right here where I am, but hopefully you guys can still get outside and grill, eat some hot dogs or red hots, smoke some barbecue, you name it. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. See you, Ricky. All right, see you, bud.